Can you imagine your life today without this essential household cleaner? Or not being able to brown your toast for your daily breakfast? Today we take a look at 11 old home appliances that changed housework forever. The Hoover Electric Suction Sweeper has an interesting story that started in 1908 in Ohio, when James Spangler invented the first upright vacuum cleaner. Spangler, an asthmatic janitor, was looking for a way to clean without stirring up dust, so he put together a fan motor, a box, and a broom handle to make something that could suck up dirt. His invention caught the eye of his cousin's husband, William Hoover, who bought the patent and started the company that would make the Hoover Vacuum Cleaner famous worldwide. Hoover Vacuum Cleaners became so popular that the name Hoover became the general term for vacuuming in some countries. Over the years, various improvements were made, including the addition of attachments and refined designs to cater to different cleaning needs. The Thor washing machine was a groundbreaking invention that marked the beginning of a new era in household chores. It was the first electric clothes washer sold in the U.S., created by the Chicago-based Hurley Electric Laundry Equipment Company in 1907. Designed by engineer Elva J. Fisher, this machine transformed laundry from a manual, labor-intensive task to an automatic process, making it much easier and faster. The Thor washing machine worked by rotating clothes in a drum with a series of blades, lifting and moving them to ensure thorough cleaning. This innovation quickly became popular, spreading across the United States after its mass marketing began in 1908. The Thor washer even had a safety feature, an emergency stop rod which was quite advanced for its time. Kelvinator, founded in 1914 in Detroit, Michigan, was an American company known for its innovative home appliances, especially refrigerators. The company was named after William Thompson, also known as Lord Kelvin, who developed the concept of absolute zero for whom the Kelvin temperature scale is named. Kelvinator introduced the first refrigerator with automatic control in 1918, making it a leader in the refrigeration industry. By 1923, Kelvinator had captured 80% of the American market for electric refrigerators. The company merged with Nash Motors in 1937, creating the Nash Kelvinator Corporation. The term Kelvinator became so popular in Robeson County, North Carolina, that as late as 2014, people still used it to refer to any refrigerator regardless of the brand. The Universal Percolator is a fascinating brewing device that makes coffee by cycling boiling water through coffee grounds using gravity. First manufactured by Landers, Frary and Clark in 1905, this electric percolator quickly became a favorite for coffee lovers. The popularity of percolators soared until the early 1970s when it was overshadowed by automatic drip brew coffee makers. Despite its decline, the percolator still has a loyal following thanks to its unique brewing process that enthusiasts argue can produce superior coffee if done correctly. The first U.S. patent for a coffee percolator was issued in 1865 to James Nason of Massachusetts. Large versions known as coffee urns are often used at gatherings where large quantities of coffee are needed, proving its enduring utility. Long ago, you couldn't peek at cookies baking or a turkey roasting because ovens were solid boxes. But in 1909, the Boss Glass Door Oven changed everything, making it possible to watch food cook without opening the oven. This invention was thought up by Ernst H. Hunefield and made by the Hunefield Company, which started in 1872. They made a special door with a big window that wouldn't fog up or break with the oven's heat. The company made a range of popular kitchen appliances until it was sold in 1966. The idea of glass oven doors, which seemed so simple back then, is something we can't imagine living without today. The Sunbeam Mixmaster is a famous kitchen appliance that has been part of American households since it was introduced in 1930. This mixer was the first of its kind to have two detachable beaters that interlocked, making baking and cooking tasks much easier. The Mixmaster became known for its versatility as it could be used with various attachments like a juice extractor, drink mixer, and meat grinder. The Mix Master was so popular that even during the Depression, Sunbeam sold hundreds of thousands of them. Original early models came with two color schemes, 
white with white bowls, and cream with green jadeite bowls. Mix Master's Enduring Impact was recognized in 1998 when the U.S. Postal Service dedicated a stamp to this iconic gadget. The Warring Blender was first introduced to the public due to the creativity and financial support of Fred Waring, a prominent American musician. In the 1930s, inventor Frederick Jacob Osius approached Waring with his idea for an electric blender, leading Waring to invest in the project. The initial investment of $25,000 resulted in the Miracle Mixer, which was showcased at the National Restaurant Show in Chicago and sold for $29.75. Later renamed the Waring Blender, the device quickly became essential in hospitals for preparing special diets. It was even used by Jonas Salk during the development of the polio vaccine. Over time, this device became popular in American households for its efficiency and versatility in food preparation. By 1954, a million Waring blenders had been sold, marking its success and lasting impact on culinary practices. The Model D12 electric toaster, introduced by General Electric in 1909, marked a turning point in kitchen appliances. Before the D12, people toasted bread by holding it over a fire or near a hot surface, which was time-consuming and inconsistent. The D12 used a groundbreaking alloy called nichrome for its heating elements, invented by Albert Marsh, making it possible to toast bread evenly and quickly. This invention paved the way for the development of more advanced toasting technologies, including the automatic pop-up toaster, which would eject the toast once it was done. Toasters have since become a staple in kitchens around the world, evolving over time to offer various features like one-sided toasting in different slot sizes. The very first toaster could only toast one side of the bread at a time, requiring the bread to be flipped manually to toast the other side. The Amana Radar Range, introduced in 1967, was the first popular microwave oven for home use, marking a huge leap in kitchen technology. Before the radar range, microwave ovens were bulky, expensive, and mostly found in commercial kitchens. Amana, a division of Raytheon, managed to shrink the size and cost of the microwave oven, selling it for $495. This innovation allowed meals to be cooked in a fraction of the time it took with conventional ovens. The radar range used microwave radiation to heat food quickly and efficiently, changing the way people prepared meals. Despite early fears and myths, the microwave oven proved to be a safe and indispensable appliance in kitchens around the world. The General Electric Monitor Top Refrigerator, introduced in 1927, was a revolutionary design in the world of home appliances. Resembling the gun turret of the Civil War ship, the USS Monitor, its compressor assembly was placed above the cabinet, making it stand out from others. This design was not just for looks, it was highly efficient for its time, cooling food effectively. Over a million units of the monitor top refrigerator were sold, showing its popularity and reliability. Unlike modern refrigerators that use safer refrigerants, the monitor top used either sulfur dioxide or methyl formate, which were quite hazardous. Despite its dangers, this refrigerator model became a staple in American homes, showcasing General Electric's innovation and early home refrigeration technology. The Victrola Record Player was a creation of the Victor Talking Machine Company, an American brand famous for bringing music into our living rooms. Founded in 1901, this company was a pioneer in the music industry, especially known for its Victrola line of phonographs, which played records with a needle and had a large horn for sound. The company used a famous logo called His Master's Voice, featuring a dog listening to a record player, which became recognized worldwide. In 1929, the Victor Talking Machine Company was bought by RCA, which continued to lead in the production of music players and records. The Victrola and other products from the company played an important role in making music accessible to the masses. The company was the first to record jazz and blues music, making significant contributions to the spread of these musical genres. So what home appliances make your life easier? Drop a comment down below to tell us which house gadget you couldn't live without.